Zeke. Almost. Almost. Oh, <laughs> top one there, Almost. Zeke. Uh, you get him with the mixer in the third period. Did you think you had it? Uh, well, I took advantage of opportunities the entire tournament, and uh, I just fell a little bit short and didn't take advantage of when I had him on his back, so uh, it cost me. You know, looking at your knee, obviously you're in a lot of pain there. Um, have they given you, is it, you know, besides the trainer looking at it, has anyone told you, you know, what happened? No, no, I think uh, my MCL just gave out a little bit. Right? Probably just a little sprain, that's it. it I think it uh, scared me a little bit more than, than anything. Fun stat, fun stat. 2003, the last time an unseated wrestler made it to the NCAA Finals. What were you, about two years old, three years old, something like that? <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Six, somewhere, seven years old, something like that? Somewhere on there. At least you can make me smile right now. <laughs> <laughs> but making history, man, you know, you know coming being just a... Lehigh Valley junkyard dog like you are, knocking off the guys you knocked off. Could you ever have envisioned it? Uh, if you would have told me that I would be in this position in the beginning of the year, I probably would have called you a liar. So, no. You look like Nick, you went back to the more deliberate strategy that you had done earlier in the tournament, kind of slowing down a little bit. Tonight, or was, it, it, was, did it, was that the actual approach, or did it just kind of look uh, that way? Or? I did, well, I just wanted to get to my attacks and do what I do, but he kind of shut me down a little bit. He keeps his hands down. He's an awesome opponent. I got to figure out a different strategy against him next time. When you say keeps his arms down, so the wrist control was, was hard to get that you've been uh, using to? It's just, it was hard to get to his legs. I really didn't get to my legs, leg attacks as much as I, I would have liked. It never fails. Every time you wrestle, last time it was a standing cradle yeah. at the Iron Man. Yeah. I think my brain almost exploded. <laughs> But, I, you know, it's just like I watch this. I'm like, this guy has a puncher's chance against anyone. Is that what you think every you, time you, you step can, on the mat? You can never count me out. Uh, I don't. I got a, I got a, I got a big move for, for everybody. Um, Zeke, I mean, people back home were just going wild. I mean, you know, and, the, you know, the whole team was over. I guess Coach Karam's house and I'm watching the yeah. games and watching this and stuff like that. Do you feel that support from home when you're here? Oh, oh for sure. After... Uh, after every match I won here, my phone blows up. It's so hard to get through all the text messages. I love the support from everybody. I can't thank my coaching staff and my trainers and my strength coach enough for uh, all they've done for me this year and put me in the position that I am now. And I can't wait to get back on the stage next year and get it done. What do you have to do to get to do that? Just keep working hard, keep doing the right things, keep living right, doing everything right. Well, hey, thanks for lighting the arena up this weekend, man. It's thank been you. fun watching you. Yeah. Well, thank yeah, did the fan, when you heard, did much. you hear the fans chanting, let's go Zeke? Did you uh, hear that when you are out there? Or uh, they were. I, when, I'm on, when I'm on the mat and that whistle blows, I black out. Right. I'm focused on, on wrestling. That's it. Congratulations, Zeke. Thank you very much.